struggle to remove news from search in Canada over new law. U.S. tech giant says new Canadian law requiring online platforms to pay fake news publishers remains unworkable. Yeah, because once again, these fake news legacy outlets, they get like 95% of their traffic from social media. And now they're demanding that these social media sites that direct all that traffic to them pay them for the privilege. And the social media sites are just, <laughs> no, you guys should be paying us for the free advertising, if anything. So if you're going to keep pushing us to pay you, we're just going to ban all mention of you. Now, Google has announced plans to remove Canadian news articles from its search engine and other products in Canada, where a law requiring major online platforms to pay news publishers takes effect in the country. In a statement on Turd's Day, uh, Google said Can Canada's Bill C-18, the so-called Online News Act, which was passed last week, remains unworkable. Best solution, then. Just pull out. You got to up your pullout game, man. Uh, we have now informed the government that when the law takes effect, we unfortunately have to remove links to Canadian news from our search, news and discover products in Canada, the company said. Oh, just wait until they make it impossible for you to even uh, link anything. Yeah, You can't even link to those sites. So we're disappointed it has to come to this. We don't take this decision or it impacts lightly and believe it's important to be transparent with Canadian publishers and our users as early as possible. This move could have a devastating effect on Canada's news outlets, many of which are already struggling financially and have faced several round, rounds of job cuts in recent years. And now they bit the hand that, that's been feeding them. <laughs> well, congratulations, you did it to yourselves. And then, now, see, the m most affected by this is actually Blackface Hitler's government. How are his people going to get their government propaganda now? So Fakebook also said last week it would end news access for Canadian users on its platforms, including Facebook and Instagram, over the new legislation. So today we are confirming the news availability will be ended on Facebook and Instagram for all users in Canada uh, prior to the, new, uh, the Online News Act taking effect. Facebook sent a statement after the law was adopted on June 22nd. Uh, the Canadian government uh, has defended Bill C-18, which is expected to come into effect in six months as part of its efforts to ensure a fair revenue share between digital platforms and news outlets. Okay, if you wanted a fair revenue share, you would have the news outlets pay the, the, uh, the social media platforms for all the free advertising they give them. Now, the Act outlines uh, rules to force online platforms to negotiate commercial deals and pay publishers for their content, a step similar to a groundbreaking law passed in Stria and current year months, too. Thanks to the Online News Act, uh, newsrooms in the country will now uh, be able to negotiate fairly for compensation when their work appears on the biggest uh, digital platforms. <laughs> okay. Hey, the biggest platform is giving me free advertising. They should pay me for that. It levels the playing field by putting the power of big tech in check and ensuring that even our smallest news business can benefit through this regime and uh, receive fair compensation for their work. Oh, no, 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 no. Google delisting all these sites from search, that's what evens the playing field. Because all, all the like citizen journalists whose work always, like who's never included in the search engines anyway, always gets de-boosted in popularity rankings. They will finally be on a level playing field with the big brand outlets because they'll all be getting shadow banned, basically. Right, but the U.S. tech giants have said the proposals are unsustainable for their businesses. Yeah, to be fair, their, their profit margins probably aren't that big. Now, Google has argued Canada's law is broader than those in Stria and Europe, saying it puts a price on news story links displayed in search results and can apply to outlets that do not produce news. Like, pretty much all these government propaganda outlets you've been talking about. On Wednesday, a Canadian Fuhrer blackface Hitler told reporters the conversation with Google over his new legislation were ongoing. Yeah, when you got two sides that refuse to budge, the only way to the, the only way to end this is for yeah, so, so, someone's going to actually have to call the bluff of the other side. It's important we find a way to ensure that Canadians can continue to get access to content in all sorts of different ways, but we're also going to protect rigorous independent journalism as a foundation, uh, financial role in our democracies, Blackface Hitler said. Yeah, he says this, and yet he himself benefits from uh, from how one-sided they are. And we know democracy only works with a strong, independent, diverse media, and we will continue standing up for that. If you know that democracy only works with a strong, independent, diverse media... Is that why you're going through so much effort to destroy strong, independent, and diverse media and replace them all with propaganda? He, this guy knows what he's doing. 
According to Canadian government figures, overall revenues of uh, Canadian broadcast television, radio, newspapers, and magazines fell by nearly $4.5 billion. Uh, U.S. dollars are $6 billion fake monopoly dollars. Uh, between current year minus is that 15? Oh, yeah, current year minus 15 and current year minus 3. Since current year minus 15, at least uh, 474 uh, fake news outlets have closed in 335 communities across Canada. The news outlets affected by Google's decision will be based on the government's definition of eligible news outlet when the rules are finalized for implementation. They're going to have to walk that back before they sink their whole industry. Now, you know, Blackface Hitler is paid and uh, bought and paid for by the World Economic Forum. Almost all world leaders are. Brandon is too. Uh, Google and Facebook have shut out Canadian news orgs from their platforms and decide to be dictators on uh, on what information Canadians can search, discover, and consume. This vies the very foundation of open internet. Canadian Association of Journalists twatted Thursday. <laughs> the, the, these guys, uh, we demanded they pay us, and they they stopped giving us free advertising. This is they're literally worse than Hitler. No, dude, you fucking idiots are not entitled to anyone else's platform. Like, see, the, these these same journalists, if I were to get yeeted off of YouTube, th they're the first ones that would say, like, if I was complaining about it, it's like, oh, wait, well, you don't have a right to YouTube's platform, RGE. Why don't you just make your own if, uh, if it matters to you so much? But then when it happens to them, like the, the, no, they're not talking about making their own social media platform. But they sure as hell feel like they're entitled to be using Google and Facebook services. Hey, guess what? I've never been I've never used Facebook outside of like one time when I created a fake account to look at a photo gallery. You can live without it. Find a way. You're not entitled to Google and Facebook's platforms. Man, every time journalists put out any statement they just make themselves look worse and worse your corporate selfishness is kneecapping canadian democracy no you're not wrong about that just look in the mirror these corporate selfish journalists have been kneecapping canadian democracy for quite a while 